Good morning. It's the 1st of January, so Happy New Year. New Year's resolution one done. I got my hair cut. Now, for all you guys who live out somewhere warm all year round, you never get the joy of seeing your golf game go right down the toilet and then having to rebuild it. You don't know what you're missing out on. <laughs> anyway, should we go and see what's broken and uh, how we're going to fix it? So I got the first tea time at Lillybrook on New Year's Day. So this is about 20 past eight in the morning, which is why it's a bit murky. The weather forecast is rain by about half past two. So I should be able to play 18. But I think you can tell by the length of this video, I didn't. Uh, the first shot of the year is an absolute peach. Yeah, we got a fairly strong north wind this morning. That's why this hole's playing a little easier. I mean, it's just blown my trolley away. Oh, hit it. I gotta say, I really don't like this second tee shot with this mat over here on the left. But that is a perfect hook with a fairway wood. Can't remember if it was a three or the five, to be honest. Three, I think. I'm not sure what's going on. This is a difficult tee shot. Yeah, a little bit thin, into the middle of the green, another birdie putt. Someone is obviously looking after me today. But the greens are a tad slow, because, you know, they haven't been cut over Christmas. Now there's something going wrong here into the middle of the green. Got my third birdie chance on the trot. I'm gonna get a birdie in 2022, there's no doubt about it. Uh, oh, well, maybe not. Pitching wood. And that ball's got snow on it by the time it comes down. Last one issue with these mats is it's difficult getting the T height that you want. I wanted a lower one there, so I've hit it off the top edge. Could be my first bogue. Yeah, that is deceleration, so that is not going to make the distance. And it didn't make the distance by some considerable distance, so... Instead of getting the first birdie of 2022, we're getting the first bogey instead. The thing when we're assessing our own game to find out what's broken is we've got to remember that we're handicapped golfers. We're not off scratch. So we're gonna make bogeys. And we shouldn't punish ourselves for those bogeys, really. Unless you miss a two-footer. So we're gonna hit bad shots. We're gonna make bad decisions. We're gonna get bad lies that we're not very good at playing out of. So when you're assessing your own game, if you're, if you're going to do that, 
in the coming months before April, before the clocks change. Just be realistic and go easy on yourself. Another shot that's just a little bit thin, a little bit right, so it just rattled through the end of that tree. Now I was really happy with this, but because the green's a little soft and a little wet, it just didn't run out as it normally would. So I'm left with this. And again, it didn't run out as it normally would. I'm not really worried about that. I've made a couple of bogeys on the trot, but most of it is okay. This one's down the right, and I'm happy with that until I get to the ball. It's come out of its pitch mark by three inches, and the far side of the ball is absolutely covered in mud. So I'm not gonna reach the green with this one. Yep, we do pick up divots. Now I wasn't worried about this chip and run. But it kind of like squirted off to the right, so... The par chance is considerably more difficult than I was expecting. Yeah, another bogey. Number seven. Should be able to squeeze a par out of this one. What I say here is too high. I don't know what I've done, but I've, I've hit it high and short. Let's see if we can get a decent lag on this. One thing I've noticed is I'm kind of like spinning out of it, leaving the face open to the right. I get away with this. Three wood round the tree. And that's about three inches fat. So it's gone nowhere. <laughs> yeah, there aren't many par fives where you're hitting a six iron for your third shot. Now this was a good hit, it just happened to be 10 degrees off target. This was a little wet patch and I was afraid of fatting it. So I tried to pick it clean and uh, knifed it instead. But the putt was halfway decent, never complain about a tap in. And then on to number nine. And this was yet another spin out. I hit that left hand popper that you can see down there in the right rough. And it shot off to the right, put me in an even oh. worse position. Oh. Right, it's properly raining now and I'm worried about the gear. So I think it's gonna be nine holes today. All right guys, so we got a bit of a downpour there. Rain stop play. Camera in the bag, nice and safe. Right, what was I? I was about 
Was I five over for nine holes? I'm not particularly worried about that. I've done I've done a lot better recently. Back there on the on the twenty eighth, for instance, I, I shot six over for the entire round, so I'm not too worried about the score. My big problem today was a little bit of the over the top with a tee peg that was a little too high for me. So I was making that mistake. Plus I missed a lot of fairways and with it being soft it was going splat and then just coming out of the pitch mark rolling over and being covered in mud and having a bad lie. So that really does emphasise the fact you've got to hit fairways in the winter. Now mechanically there isn't a lot wrong. I mean it was quite warm today. When it's down around freezing and you're layered up with goodness knows how many tops and trousers on then it does get a bit harder to swing. But there's nothing particularly for me to worry about. Nothing that a bit of work on the range and a couple of lessons isn't going to put right. So um, how do you get yourself ready for the new year? Do you go out and, do you go out and play? Figure out what you've got to fix and then go to the range and fix it or have lessons and fix it? Or do you just keep playing and playing and playing and not worry about it until perhaps the end of March or the beginning of April. Anyway, this is, this is the way I do it. 1st of January, I'm itching to get out on the golf course, find out what's wrong, fix it, and uh, by the time I get to the end of March, beginning of April, I'm playing decent stuff. Or, well not decent stuff, but more consistent. I'm hitting my handicap more often than I am at the moment. Of course, with a bit of luck, I might be going away in March. As yet, we're still waiting for an announcement from the government in Thailand as to whether that is possible or not. But if I get the go-ahead, then I really do have to put my foot down and get this sorted out. Mm -hmm.